there is almost always more than one algorithm to solve any given problem. For example, when searching for some data, we've seen that there is the linear search and the binary search algorithms. However, not all algorithms are equal in terms of their efficiency. Typically, we measure the efficiency of algorithms in two ways. Time complexity, this is the amount of time the algorithm will take to run, and space complexity, this is the amount of memory the algorithm will need to run. For your GCSE, we only need to concern ourselves with time complexity. Technically, time complexity isn't really a measure of the time it takes to run, because that would be affected by factors outside of your algorithm, such as the speed of the computer's CPU. What we're actually measuring is the number of statements that the algorithm will need to perform. Let's look at an example linear search algorithm written in pseudocode. How many operations would this need to perform? Let's just focus on our loop. Each loop, this algorithm will check if the current item in our list is the one we are looking for, and if it is, it will set found flag to true. However, what happens then? Well, the algorithm will keep running until it is complete. As a trace table, this would look like this. However, what if we made a slight change to this algorithm, so the while loop will stop when found flag is set to true? If we now use the trace table to dry run this algorithm, we would get this. You can see that our code has run through the loop three less times, and therefore has had to run the statements in the loop three less times. This reduces the time complexity, making it more efficient. There are other benefits and drawbacks of different algorithms that perform similar tasks. For example, as we've learned previously, linear and binary search algorithms are both used to search a list for a value, such as a word or number. However, they each have their own benefits and drawbacks. The linear search works on both sorted and unsorted lists of data, whereas the binary search algorithm only works on sorted lists of data. However, the binary search algorithm works well on larger lists of data, whereas the linear search algorithm is inefficient at searching larger lists of data. So while the linear search can work with an unsorted list, it is generally slower than a binary search when searching larger lists of data. Let's look at this with an example. Let's imagine we have a list of 10 letters, such as this. If we were searching for the letter I using a linear search algorithm, it would search through this list one at a time, starting at the letter A. This means it would perform nine loops in order to find our letter. Now what if we instead search for the letter I using a binary search algorithm? Well, this would only take three loops in order to find our letter. So our binary search algorithm is more efficient, and that efficiency becomes larger and larger as the list we're searching gets larger. Much like with our searching algorithms, the bubble and merge sort algorithms both perform the same task. They both sort a list of data. However, they go about this sorting in very different ways, and this gives them both benefits and drawbacks. The bubble sort algorithm is very simple and easy to program, but is very inefficient at sorting large lists of data. The merge sort algorithm is efficient at sorting large lists of data, but it can also be very memory intensive due to having to keep track of so many sublists. So, while the bubble sort is considered one of the simplest algorithms there is, it is actually quite inefficient. While the merge sort is quite complicated and memory intensive, but is fast, especially on larger lists. Let's look at this with an example. Imagine you had a list of data such as this. It can be a little complicated and lengthy to work through this with a trace table, especially with a merge sort algorithm. However, at a basic comparison, we can see how inefficient the bubble sort is. The bubble sort goes through everything in the list and checks everything, even if it doesn't need sorting. To sort the list of data above, a bubble sort algorithm will need to perform 45 comparisons of the value in the list. That is just for a list of 10 letters. However, the merge sort splits everything down into basic blocks, and then sorts them and merges back up, and only sorts when necessary. So the merge sort will perform just 25 comparisons between the values in the list when sorting this list of data. So. We can use different algorithms to solve the same problem, but some are more efficient than others. 
We can measure the efficiency of algorithms by time complexity and space complexity. Time complexity is basically a measure of the number of statements an algorithm will run to perform its task. A linear search algorithm works on both sorted and unsorted lists of data, but is inefficient at searching larger lists. A binary search algorithm works well with larger lists, but can only search sorted lists. The bubble sort algorithm is very simple, but is very inefficient at sorting large lists. The merge sort algorithm is efficient at sorting large lists of data, but can be memory intensive.